Hello guys, what's up? I'm Suresh from the SketchUp Arca Studio and we have new tutorial about the rendering. This is the first session of the uh, Enscape tutorial, Enscape Pro. So before we start this video, like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. This is one of the 3D models that I created in the uh, SketchUp and you can see the uh, tutorial of this 3D modeling in my channel that called mini park design in the urban design. So let's get to work about the Enscape. For the people who are beginner about the rendering, Enscape is one of the GPU based rendering systems and engines in the uh, 3D visualization and 3D art. So for activating the Enscape, this is the SketchUp environment, SketchUp 2023. And I'm going to right click on this box in here and I want to active Enscape for myself. So when I click on the Enscape in here, as you can see, I can move this bar in different places and check it in here. The first option related to the Enscape account. If you use Enscape account and your license, you can click on it and manage your license. Second bar is the about option. When I click on it, I can check my Enscape 3D version and rendered version and other type of copyrights about it. The third one is the feedback. You can say your feedbacks about your Enscape and your problems sometimes about some errors. Second option related to the general setting. It's on the rendering mode. If you use RTX graphic cards, you can turn on the R ray tracing mode. And NVIDIA Denoiser is now deactivated for me. I can activate it or not. Grass, carpet, rendering, rest mode, auto up sampling and other things are checked in here and don't uncheck them because it's the default of it. Network is OK. Preferences is about localizing and help or notification. First item related to the upload management. You can view and manage your uploaded panoramas and web standalones. Second is the Enscape material editor. When I click on it, I can manage my materials that I have in my screen and 3D model. Another one, the Enscape material library. It's the one of the wonderful online sources about the Enscape. As you can see, we have different type of materials in different categories, like the bricks, fabrics, or metals, or wood, like that. It takes a little bit time because it's work with the internet. Another option is the Enscape asset library. You have a big genre of the uh, Enscape asset in the uh, 3D rendering. Another about Enscape objects lighting, for example, a sphere light, a spotlight, line light, and other things. And the uh, other one is the synchronized view. When I click on it, my sim will convert to the Enscape render. And it takes a little bit time, and it depends on your system, for example, but it works not bad. Another one is the start Enscape. When I click on the start Enscape, Enscape will start for me immediately. It depends on your hardware and your system. But usually sometimes it takes a little bit lag on it. So uh, as you can see, Enscape will start for me. It depends on your hardware accelerator and your graphic card. As you can see, this is the simple environment of the Enscape. I maximize my window. When you press H on your keyboard, you have help option in here. It's a little bit so short and sometimes you will be confused. But totally, if I want to talk about it, I start with the camera movement. When I hold left click on my cursor and move it, I can see all around my environment. My sky, floors and other things. If I want to orbit about my 3D model, I must hold the right click and move my cursor like this. Very simple and useful. 
For moving in the Enscape environment like other rendering engines like the Illumion, you can hold W, A, S or D for moving. If you move with the low speed, you can hold Shift or if you want to move faster, you can hold Ctrl 2. But it's so fast, as you can see, sometimes we can manage our speed. The normal speed is about holding W and Shift. Now we are in the fly mode and we can know we are in the fly mode from this place. We see two furthers in here. And when I move a little bit to the forward and press space on my keyboard, I will come to the walk mode. In the walk mode, I can feed some steps and stairs like that, as you can see. Focus on the camera vibration. As you can see, now I go on the asphalt and now I'm on the walk side. And this is the ramp, for example. Very simple. You can manage your materials very simple and easy in the Enscape with only working with the uh, Enscape material editor. For example, I want to select this dark gray in here and I think it depends on these street lights. When I reduce the roughness, as you can see it will convert to some metal material. or I can change my material to others. For example, material number two. As you can see, we can see the changes in the environment. Or these type of pavers in here. When I click on them in here, I can rotate them or I can invert the color of them. Very simple. So you can work with the Enscape in the real time. And it means that when I change these lights in here, it will change immediately. Or if I delete this light in here, it will delete for me immediately. And sometimes you can change some adjustments. For example, hold this grass and change it to this edge. As you can see, it feel like that. But it's not realistic and it's only for the uh, tutorial. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe our YouTube channel, and goodbye.